Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Space. We are up to part 5 and in the last video we were getting ready to go over here to the Green Pilgrims and wipe them out. They've been really annoying us. Um, all our factions, all our AI factions are Pilgrims but for some reason these guys have been really annoying us. We took out two of their scouts last, uh, last game, last session and we're building up, we have a force built up here, we have um, we're going to have a, a fleet of five of our fast attack ships and we have a couple dreadnoughts and a repair ship and our main attack fleet here and we're also getting started on making another fleet because um, my focus is just going to be complete military dominance to take over the galaxy um, and also on that note I did want to start on a scout at some point so we uh, so we could go make sure we map out the whole galaxy um, as we go over here and conquer green <coughs> we should be able to we'll see what's over here but I'm pretty sure the constellations are limited uh, to pretty much this local area I don't think it really branches out that much and I think we did start with small so so let's see uh, we ended and we have okay we have movement now um, and actually I am going to yeah let's start attacking we have a good force here of 1208 military power so we're gonna go over here uh, can we hmm, for some reason we can't oh okay this one <coughs> sorry this one has zero attack I mean zero movement the, our fast attack has 10 our this one and this one let's merge these two and that one is full, that fleet is full. We only have a maximum of five command points for each fleet, and that's something we'll have to upgrade uh, through research as well. And this guy is on his way. These are our four attack sh uh, fast attackers. They're on their way up here to join the other fast attacker. And our planets look good. And well, that was a little bit of a bug there. I think that's a little bit of a bug. This is Sylphi, not Venny. That's okay. Let's uh, end the turn. That's a little annoying. There we go. Okay, I zoomed in a little bit. And it fixed that. Okay. So, let's complete our movement. Okay, we did queue that up. And let's see. Okay, so there's an invasion uh, action that we can take to take over the star system. We could also do an intercept <coughs> for all fleets entering the star system, which is more of like a defensive, a little bit defensive. Okay, wow, they have a big fleet. Wow, I was not expecting that at all. Wow. Um, we might want to back off. Well, we are... We need to send in some reinforcements here. Okay, so let's. So these are fast attackers. So let's merge all our fast attackers. And send them in. And oh, they don't have any movement points. That's okay. So we'll send in this. This fleet. And so uh, in total. Oops. In total, we have a large fleet uh, or a fairly powerful fleet um, I didn't expect them to have such a large fleet built up which is kind of unfortunate I mean it's not that good and they're mo they're probably mostly all kinetic <coughs> so and we are mostly missile with a little bit balanced between the four, uh, three attack types and so if I finish this dreadnought so I'm going to send that actually I'm going to Hmm. I'm going to keep it there because I also I have a queue um, for this and actually I'm going to cancel that because we have two command points used in that fleet so far and then we'll have three here so that'll be our fleet um, so that's all set and Gaikon uh, whoops <coughs> Gaikon finished its uh, system-wide improvement of the interplanetary transport network, which increases our uh, industry. 
So let's take a look at what we can. And we are losing money from this system now. So we might want to consider. And it's not a huge deal. But it is. We are getting to a point. We were at, at like plus 40 at some point. And now we're only at plus uh, 20. So let's go with Xenotourism right now. And see if we can get some of that back. And I also want to look at my... <coughs> Yes, my trade routes. Nuskin, Esther, and Brasia. Nuskin. Brasia. Okay, Nuskin. Okay. I see. So it looks like we trade with other civilizations that we are friendly with and that we know exist, perhaps. Um, because I would, I would expect that the orange pilgrims have more than just two. Uh, and I would expect, obviously, they... The purple pilgrims have more than one, just this one because this one is not their home system. You can tell it's their home system by the little crown. Um, so that's all set. And I did, I think I have a trade route here. Yeah, Taurus. So where is Taurus? Taurus, Taurus. Hmm. Okay, there's Taurus. So actually we can trade. I'm wondering how these trade routes get set up. If It seems like they're a little bit random or automatic. Um, but I'm not sure. And yep, the sphere of influence. I was thinking earlier before when my sphere of influence was very small that perhaps if we surrounded another star system with a sphere of influence, we could automatically colonize it. But no, we do need a colony ship. And um, we're probably not going to colonize over here. I think there's more valuable star systems uh, if we ever even get to them. Uh, Antares is looking pretty good but it is exposed we might want to just go over here if you really want to expand because um there's just this choke point yersh star system over here uh, okay so let's see i think we're good let's end that turn i've once again forgotten to start the timer that's all right let's see i think we're about five minutes in okay so we uh up our gaikon system leader uh leveled up so let us go for let's give him a little bit of balance I might um, he is he's very good on um, invasion and also on plus eight military power to fleet weapons so I might want to pull him off once we start our attack on green I'm gonna want to assign all of our uh, all of our sorry assign all of our heroes to fleets to make the fleets better um, in fact actually I am going to leave our high level guy our high level hero in Silphi and I'm going to assign let's see these are our fast attackers let's go and let's see I'm gonna assign him to a fleet now what happens to Gaikon? Looks like Gaikon's still okay. And it did finish the Xenotourism Agency's last turn. And how are we on production? Very, very good. In fact, we might want to, instead of leaving... It, uh, these will be done next turn, but I do want to... It'd be good. This is very, very close to our battle front. Or, you know, the front of the battle. Um, and I might want to go ahead and create one more Dreadnought. That's good. All our other planets look good. Let's go ahead and resolve our movement. Send our fast movers over there. And let's do the following. Well, let's see. I'm going to wait one turn for the fast movers, the fast attackers, to build up their movement. And then um, we're going to hit this this system all at once. It should be, we should be able to target, we should be able to overwhelm them fairly easily. Um, and yeah, I just don't want to wait because they know we're coming. They really do know it. Um, and I think... We are still in a cold war, but I think as soon as we attack them, it'll go to a full-scale war. It's all set. Let's 
in the turn. Okay, a lot's happened. First things first, I want to get the combat going. I want to see how my fast movers uh, are. I'm going to send them over here. And we're going to get attacked. Okay. we. I guess we don't get a choice on... So these are... Okay, we get kinetic. All kinetic. And these are all... Okay, these are a mix. So let's do a manual. This is a fairly even fight. Fairly even. We need to put in some work so that we get we get uh, the most we can out of this. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do short circuit. Then I'm going to do. Let's see, I'm going to do. Going to do engineering. The battle is starting. And then at the end, I'm going to do defense. Now here come our missiles. Doing fairly well. Yes, very, very good. Excellent. So we have their health down. We've taken out one of their ships already, and their health is down to about 50%, whereas our health is almost at completely at 100%. But now we are in the medium range. And now it's all about kinetic, uh, or a mix at least. I think we might keep. Um, do we have beam weapons on it? No, these are our ships. They might have. Wow, we are really. Uh, this is a very, very lopsided fight, it turns out. Excellent, excellent, excellent. They went for offense, we went with defense. And. Since they are primarily kinetic based, I wanted to make sure that happened, and we've completely taken them out. Excellent. Very, very good. And they even had a level 4 commander. Corporate uh, commander. Wow. That was a beatdown. That was very, very good. Excellent. Okay. But now, our fast attack ships are being attacked by some paladins and our fast attackers are those balanced ones that we just got attacked with so we're gonna go manual again but these are just kinetic um, and we are mu this we have I think we have a much better chance at winning this battle which is excellent okay so we're gonna do the same thing I get uh, again I think we're gonna go um, tactics actually uh, then we're going to go tactics again and then we'll finish off with defense all right so we both went to tactics it's excellent um, we might get damaged a little bit more a uh, little bit because of that because the tactics increases all all damage but but that's going to increase our damage as well and when our missiles hit that's going to be uh, some good stuff and you can already see where our Yes, there's the missiles right there. Oh yeah. Taking out two of their four ships. They're gonna be done very, very soon. And they have taken a little chunk of us out. But yep, and there they go. They're about to explode. Excellent. Victory in the second attack phase. Victory at Cancer. <laughs> Just gonna leave that one hanging there. <laughs> Wow, we did the same thing. Hmm. All right, and any more? Nobody wants a little more, a little bit more of us, huh? Huh? No? <laughs> yeah, we're totally, and we're still at Cold War, which is weird. I guess you can. That's really weird. I would expect us if we're attacking in their zone, but I guess we didn't directly attack them, right? So maybe, um, hmm. well, let's, let's see. I'm thinking because they attacked us, it doesn't count as a de declaration of war, perhaps. Maybe, or maybe only invasion works for that. Anyway, we're going to send our main attack force over here. No, I guess we can't. No, I guess they are blocking it. Perhaps that's why. Let me try something here. 
actually, and I'm going to have our small little attack force start a invasion. So we're going to start invading. And I really would like my main attack force to go over here. Well, let's see. Can we go over here? Yes, we can. Okay. That's interesting. It could be because they're um, guarding this, but I thought guarding was only to leave... And you can see we're very, very well. I like, I really liked how these fast attack ships worked out. Okay, so I think our Gamma, which was this one. Yes, Gamma was our fast attackers, and he, we assigned Katai, Shale Spine, to them. So he leveled up, and quite a bit, two points. So he leveled up twice there, which is excellent. More melee, um, minus four healing, minus 20 for all defense enemy defense mods that's excellent or more offense so I think what we're going to do is we're gonna go for that one and we're gonna go more offense that sounds good to me and the after action reports we are just absolutely smashing them and here was the first battle smash 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 and this was ah uh, yes this was our first uh, we gained a level in the first battle and then a level in the second battle Okay, also we have some planet maintenance to get take care of here. Gaikon is turning away on this dreadnought. Tier Trime uh, finished. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. <laughs> That's okay. We're probably going to get attacked. Yes, okay. And this is 430. I think we'll be alright here. These are just paladins. It's strange they have a mix of their Paladin, Paladin, Paladin 2, Paladin 3. Well, we're going to go manual. And we have two Dreadnoughts and a Repair Ship. I think the Repair Ship, okay, they have a little bit of kinetic deflection. But our attacks are mainly going to come from our big Dreadnoughts. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go, um, what can counter tactics? We're going to go offense to counter tactics first. And then we're going to go engineering again. And then we're going to go defense. I like to kind of use cards that are more defensive and think about countering. Okay, so they didn't use tactics, uh, but that's alright. Let's see how we do. We might lose our repair ship, depending on how things are targeted. And the missiles should do some quite impressive damage. But like I was saying, I like to kind of use defensive cards, um, or kind of think what the enemy is going to do. There we have two out of their four ships destroyed because of the missiles. Um, but I like using those cards more to boost or to counter the enemy's cards rather than kind of thinking, oh, what can you know maximize my damage. Okay, so, oh, I guess we're firing more missiles, right? Because even though we're in the medium fit range, we don't, uh, medium attack phase we don't have lasers so we just use whatever weapons we can they're less effective but still we have so many that they absolutely decimate them so we have victory at ibony with our two dreadnoughts and repair ship excellent and our repair ship are also uh repair ships during each attack phase i think it's plus five percent or plus five health um, depending on the repair mod you have installed so we absolutely decimated them those four ships are absolutely gone and the blue pilgrims, or rather the purple pilgrims, want Hyperium. I really just don't want to give that to you. I'm sorry. And they're okay with that. That's fine. And these are our fast attackers. We probably can't attack because, right, they're not our friends. And... So we, if we really want to attack, can we move here? No, we still can't move there. Can we only? Well, let's see. I'm going to declare war on you. And I like that little, hang on, the little, huh? The little raised eyebrow. He's like, what the hell? You don't like, they don't like us very much, but they, I'm not sure why. Anyway, I'm going to declare war on you. And now. And do they get a chance to attack when we move in? No, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a main attack with our main attack.
attack force, which is all those missile. We have four missile attack uh, ships and a repair ship. Very, very high. Yeah, see, this is, we're absolutely going to decimate them. I'm not even going to do a manual because we're absolutely going to win. And that's strange we didn't get to choose who to attack. I guess we, let's see, so, yep, we gained, we didn't lose any ships, we didn't lose any HP, uh, we destroyed the one ship. I'm thinking, actually, there's only one in orbit, technically. This guy's actually coming into orbit, so that's why we could only, we didn't get a choice of who to attack. Uh, yep, declaration of war, and we are involved. Okay, so I think that takes care of... Actually, let's send our fast attackers over... Let's see, they have 14 movement, so it'll be faster to get over here. In fact, we'll get there in one turn. And actually, you did see while we were passing through, our sensors picked up that other attack force. Now, this is <laughs> this is just a pathetic ta uh, attack force here. And I'm almost kind of wishing that we had stopped, we had run out of movement points so we could detect you know, what that force was, but... I'm really guessing that it's not going to be any problem at all for us to take care of, even with our... Who did we leave over here? Yes, we left our main attack force over here. And right here, we are doing an invasion. Now I'm wondering... Let's see... There is an, an invasion going on, but there's no real progress indicator. So I guess we'll just wait on that. And we're at a movement points here. And this guy will just kind of, you know, I guess, yes. What we'll do is we'll set up an interception so that when when it reaches, um, I guess this is guard technically. That's what they call it in the manual when I read. Basically, if an enemy enters this, you automatically attack them. So you get like a jump on them, uh, which is great. All right, so we finished our research for atmospheric filtration as well, which opens up warp drive, um, and we can also colonize gas giants. Uh, we probably, I'm not sure if we had any available to us, possibly. Yeah, I think Wei had a gas giant, so we could look into that. Um, but I'll have to investigate the warp drive. And let's see, that was over here, atmospheric filtration. We're doing very well on the military front, so I don't think we need to really worry about that. Um, let's open up some of these new luxury resources, because I'm sure, I have a feeling our people, well our people are pretty content, but our dust is going down. Now let's take a look at closer look at that. Minus 58 from systems and minus 32 from fleets. So fleets is getting up there, but it's still not as much as systems. So we can curb that a little bit, so um, I'm going to choose that and actually let's take a look at some of the okay so for example this one we don't have void stone but it would give us plus three dust that's excellent so that's good and also over here we have Eden incense which is more science and more approval and this one is taking care of dust water yep. okay so yeah that's that's a good technology track to go on Okay, we have an event, unfettered movement. With the technology you've unlocked, you're no longer constrained by cosmic strings and wormholes. Your only limit is your ambition. Excellent. So that means we can probably move however we want. So wherever we are, we can just right-click on any star system and we'll go right there. Now the game probably calculates how many movement points it is based on distance and all that. Um, but we don't really need to worry about that. Um, so yeah, let's end the turn. And we're going to get a bunch of things going on here. So we couple ships entered the cancer system um, uh oh okay so okay unsurprisingly we're now at war and the green pilgrims uh, hate us now that's odd they entered the system but they entered the system but they didn't attack it looks like they disappeared I wonder if they went in here, then maybe they docked. I'm not sure, but I am going to start an invasion here. And I'm going to go here just to make sure. And of course, I'm slow. And we are still invading over here. 
and I really wish there was I knew uh, exactly what invasion meant and it might be worth it to okay actually uh, it might be worth it to start to read a little bit more into that uh, on, in the manual to see exactly what invasions consist of so let's take our dreadnought and we have a new ship over here as well ah uh, yes these are the dreadnought and the attack ships we're going to merge those we finished some stuff over here so let's create so we edit that and merge these so now we have a nice fleet of a dreadnought two missile attack ships and a fast attack ship so we will send up these up to Gaikon in preparation for more invading and at Silphi, I really do think our military is, is plenty um, so but I mean <laughs> Silphi is so um, are well has so much industry and is so well adjusted and has all the improvements it can build that I mean there's really nothing else to do except build the ships and I really like these fast attack ships so I think I'm gonna build up another whole nother fleet of those all right uh, way finished something okay Gaikon way oh yeah that's right we had that mistake in the last turn where we plus pressed um the end turn button but we weren't really ready um let's see here defense more ship xp more food uh, and i don't really want to build ships over here since it's so far away let's just go with and we are maxed out on our food here let's go with oh i don't know i don't like to do these infinite things when i have these that i could build so let's just go with yeah, let's just go with food. Build up as much as we can, and then we can use those infinite res uh, infinite production things. Now, Treem doesn't have a lot of um, dust, so we'll go with a trade route to open that up. Yurs is turning away on that, uh, the exploitation for the first planet. And Gaikon, we could, let's go with, yeah, let's go with the trade route here as well. Okay, I think now we are all set. Let me take a look at, uh, yes, we're invading over here. We're moving over here, and we are, okay, no, I want to invade over here. So you can do both, huh? That's interesting. Yeah, let's do both. All right. Oh, there is this little indicator. I just noticed there's this red part and then there's this green part. So maybe once, yeah, you can kind of see uh, if it's kind of, it looks like Pac-Man almost. You can see there's like a little bit of red and then a little bit of green. Um, so I'm sure once it fills up with red, it becomes ours. That's probably what's going on there. All right, okay, here comes an attack force very weak attack force okay this is a much stronger attack force but still not with and okay now our friendly fleet is coming over here I'm not sure if they're gonna help out or what okay let's see let's take these guys stop doing that go up here should take only one turn We'll probably get attacked. Yes, we will. Okay. So, this might, this could be a fairly, okay, but the, this could be a fairly even battle. But we have missile ships. Um, so, we're going to hit them pretty hard. Uh, and they don't have any defense against missiles at all. They can't intercept missiles at all. So, we will have the advantage, at least in the first round. So, let's, uh, missiles, minus 25 all enemy defense mods so let's go with that and then more and we'll repair in the medium phase and then we'll do again I like uh, yeah let's go with defense again oh wow we both blocked each other out in the first uh, first uh, attack phase there now they do appear to be hitting us but the missiles take a little while to hit them here come the missiles. And yes, connecting. Excellent. 
you, they've lost, oh yes, excellent, excellent. They've already lost three ships, and they're down to only about 25% of their health. Now they're down four. They used tactics, which countered our engineering, so that's unfortunate. But they have so, so few ships left that I don't really think it's going to be a problem. They have one ship left for there. Yeah, and they're probably not going to make it. They have one ship left. Yep, now they're down. And they did take out a little bit of our health, maybe 10 to 20%. But definitely not enough. We have victory at Cancer once again. So they did a little bit better on their card playing than us. But um, we we outmatched them enough, at least in... Not in military power, but in the specific types of attack that we used. And now we can also... Now, we are a little low on health, but the rest of their fleets are all just pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. Um, so we're going to go manual again just to make sure it is mostly in our favor. and we're, We are going to win this one without losing any ships, I can tell you that right now. But I'll be on the safe side. And let's go with, let's see, what counter sabotage? Engineering. Let's go sabotage. Let's go. Do, do, do. Let's go. Tactics and defense. So they are hitting us a little with their kinetic attacks. But I don't think we're going to lose a ship. And as soon as our missiles collide with them, they're really going to be scared. Yep, they've already lost two. Now they're about to lose their third. Right there. Excellent. And we still have five out of five. And, of course, we do have our Admiral, which does help. He's not the best um, hero for a command position on a fleet, but he's better than no hero, and he helps a lot. I think he gives us plus 8% uh, plus to military power, so that's excellent. All right, so we can't really do anything more. Um, so we'll, I'll go ahead and we'll do intercept. And let's do, let's continue moving. And this is our, right, these are our, I'm not really concerned with, um, I'm not completely concerned with their ships anymore. I think really all we need to do now is just conquer them take over their systems. So we'll dismiss that after action report and we will upgrade our guy. We'll give him more. Let's give him, uh, we don't really ever get into the melee phase so I don't think melee is, is all that, Im all that uh, important. Let's give him more offense, sounds good. Dismiss that. And we are at, we are at a movement point. Actually, let's go ahead and invade as well. And we are invading over here and intercepting. And we are going to invade and intercept over here as well. And we're going to take once this dread once and yeah, we're gonna send this over here to invade and intercept. And let's see. I think we have no we don't have anybody in the hangar. We do have, uh, yes, excellent. We do have a bunch there, and we are creating more there. So we'll be able to do invasion and intercepting on all of these systems. So that's great. So we won't have to worry about counterattacks, and we'll keep this dreadnought here. Now, Gaikon just finished. Uh, so let's go for. Let's see, it's going to be an outpost, or it's going to be a colony in five turns, so let's do the satellite to increase its sphere of influence, and let us, and I think that's it, awesome, so we're going to hit a new upgrade, or new research upgrade in the next turn, so we'll be able to deal with that, we might hit some counterattacks. no actually, oh well, no we do, yeah, these guys over here. 
Hmm. Are they not, uh... I guess they didn't... I guess they didn't land yet. Okay. Alright, so we are intercepting and... And invading. Intercepting and invading. Okay, how's this one going, anyway? I just... Yeah, there's no real indicator. Unless I'm not... I'm just not seeing it. Um... Does it show it here, perhaps? Yes, it does. But not really. It'd be nice if they gave a better indicator. I'm guessing it's this little red thing. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. And doing the same here. Doing the same here. Uh, let's resolve our movement. Alright. So we have a 5 out of 5 right here. And we're going to send them to Ita. Take a couple turns. Uh, actually, yes. Because they are out of movement. And we'll keep that dreadnought there. And we have... One ship in the hangar, so let's create and merge these two. Merge them. And we'll wait one turn for this fast attack ship to complete. And let's look at our... Yes, that's right. We have... Um, we research containment fields so we can colonize barren planets. And we can also exploit these... All these luxury uh, resources. Mercurite, Voidstone, Jet Onyx, uh, and Ionic Crystals. So that'll be useful. Those definitely will provide us with excellent uh, benefits. So these are all the messages for that. I'll just right click them. And we have a couple planets to queue up for stuff. Actually, I think we what we want to do here is... Okay, this it does cost industry to colonize. So I think what we want to do is actually increase our industry as much as possible before we colonize and then we can go ahead and colonize and I'll actually queue up uh, this one as well which is good for industry on Trime we can colonize this now and I think we might just do that it will only take two turns so let's go ahead and do that let's close out of this and way as well we can colonize these, this uh, large gas helium planet it does have EM radiation um, but we can always, there's an upgrade or a research path that we can take to colonize that. And it does provide us with a lot of science, so. Should be good. Let's take a look at our happiness. Excellent. We're doing excellent. We've got, again, we're getting that, uh, you know, minus 42 from fleets. I really think we shouldn't stop building fleets now. I think we have plenty. We're not going to, we are the the king shit in the galaxy right now you can see our score is through the roof on everyone um we'll probably go for the we'll probably go for the purple pilgrims next because they are, seem to be the best and we don't want them expanding more as we're taking out the orange all right so we need a new research and let's actually look at the um there should be a do -do -do something that oh wow I didn't even see that dreadnought class there ship class wow that is a huge ship that's really cool now there should be um oh actually here's the moon survey we could go into that oh here's the anomaly reduction that's excellent yes let's go for this uh, which means we'll have to go through and improve thermodynamics first to only take one turn and it'll actually improve our tiny and small planets by increasing their population and that is a... Oh, it's a star system improvement. Okay, so that won't be automatic. That's good. Okay, let's end the turn. Alright, what's going on? What's going on? Okay. Looks like Miker is sending out more ships. They're really just kind of trying to prolong the inevitable, as it were. Um, let's take a look at the invasion. I think we did increase. It might take a while... Um, but we will get it done eventually, and hopefully that won't cause the purple guys, the purple pilgrims, to overwhelm us. Hmm. Yeah, I have a feeling it's not going to be as easy as I thought, but we might want to even invest in a scout. Actually, I'm going to just do that right now. Get a scout so we can start s snooping out what they have for their military. 
because we have we only have we can only see one of their systems and it, it's concerning me that's pretty concerning it's not too bad not too bad okay so we're doing our things over here we have this fleet over here i think if they enter and they're weak enough they just get immediately destroyed let's resolve our movement right, that guy was heading over to here to ida and let's see so far should have yes we have one fleet ready to be made and we will merge these two and we will send these guys all the way over here and that'll take a couple turns but probably won't be as many turns as it will for the other fleets to finish their invasions so let's see here so I'm gonna stop building um, building improvements or uh, rather ships and let's go for the star system improvement and that was what just finished and we're gonna get the adaptive colonies next so we'll be able to do moon surveys and that'll get rid of some of our negative um, anomalies and that's all set and turn all right let's complete our movement and let's start our invasion over here We have an event, uh, colonization of a celestial body with an environment this hostile is not a simple thing. Okay, this was our colonization over here of this gas helium. Now, so let's start an exploitation on this. Uh, let's see, gas helium, gas helium. Mm, nothing really. What are we? We're lacking food, so let's just go with food for now. Sofi needs something to do. So actually, there's not really much to do. So let's actually take a look at our dust. Okay, wow, we're doing. I think when we did the, all those um, luxury resource pluses, we gained a lot of dust. So actually, I'm gonna go for science. And you can see we increased our science a lot, and this is an infinite one. So we'll have to keep an eye on it. Um, but that'll increase our research power, which is great. And we just colonized this one. We need an exploit, and it is barren, correct? Yes, it's barren. So we will go with, I think, yes, it's good for science, so we'll go with that. Close out of here, and Gaikon needs something to do. Actually, you have a fleet, you have a scout, which is exactly what I want to do. Let's open up that scout and send you over here. And you have movement points left, I think two movement points left so let's go over here first and actually let's eye this okay I still have it hovered <laughs> it was 365 okay that's good because we went to a warp gate uh, I mean a wormhole which puts us over there immediately okay so it's, it's only 236 oh they're dealing with pirates Ooh, very fairly strong pirates as well we'll have to watch out for that so that might that might be weaken them a little bit um, we'll keep an eye on that Okay, so we have this one. Okay, here's our fast attackers. They're on their way to Miker. And we are almost about halfway done with our, with our invasion over here. And this invasion doesn't seem to be progressing. I'm wondering why. They might just be no good at invasion. It's possible. Because I think I do have... No, I don't. Well, we'll just let it progress. All right, so let's make sure we're all set here. Okay, Gaikon does need something to do. That's right. Uh, anything else we can do? No, what we can do is increase our population. We increase food. Yeah, let's increase our food. And everything looks good. I'm kind of ignoring the diplomacy for these two other factions right now because, I mean, I'm planning on taking them out anyway, so I don't really think it's worth, you know, setting up trade routes and all that. Okay, we're being attacked by pirates. Yes, this is our scout being attacked by pirates, so we're going to go manual and we're going to retreat as quickly as we can. 
And I see people shooting around over here. I think purple guy was sending a scout into our system. And we do have that, uh, we do have an agreement for open borders. So we might want to consider cutting that off. If we can uh, not hint to them that we are going to be killing them fairly soon. So we're arriving. Long range phase. Okay, they took out half of our health well, before we actually escaped, so it's good that we escaped. Hopefully, we don't lose the ship like we have in the past. No, it doesn't look like we did. We just recruited over here to Mak Makdarka, Matarka. And. Okay, we can keep moving. That's good. And let's take a look at that. Oh, wow, that's just a scout. Okay. I haven't seen any huge forces yet, so that's great. And, okay. The Orange Pilgrims are offering us Titanium-70 in exchange for Hyperium. Well, we have plenty of Titanium-70, guys. And, uh, they probably, they have Hyperium. Why would they want more? Or maybe they don't have Hyperium. Well, I'm going to refuse it anyway. Let's see what that does to our... Okay, these guys hate us. We're neutral. They like us. They're even trending. So that, that's fine. Okay. So are these fast attack ships. Let's resolve that. And let's see. Progressing, progressing, progressing. This one's going well. I wonder why these fast attack ships aren't doing well in their invasion. Hmm. Odd. Okay, yeah, see, we have a scout, one of the purple, purple pilgrims are scouting our, our guys. Okay, so we have a bunch of things to take care of. Let's go ahead and do, let's see, let's do endothermic structures to give us a little more uh, population. And this EM radiation should go away. Ooh, wow, they don't like us. 50 from planets. Well, well, we'll wait until we get rid of this, these uh, negative uh, anomalies before we start taking actions to improve the morale there. Okay, so Trime needs something to do. And we can also start doing moon stuff. Uh, moon stuff. Um, once we get that new research. So we'll go with food here. And uh, Gaikon, we will... Let's colonize. No, actually, yeah. Let's colonize a small baron with some mercurite, mercurite, uh, which is great for dust. That's great, very good, and um, great. We get more XP for our ships and more science. It's very good. So let's colonize that. And uh, our ships look good, and our scout is scouting. The pirates over here, so we'll have to be careful about that, but we can always retreat. That doesn't seem to be a problem with pirates. It's when we're ret retreating from battles with other factions that we lost our two our two uh, scouts. So let's go ahead and end the turn. Okay. And... Okay, so we are getting attacked by the pilgrims with some of their seven paladins against our five attack ships and they actually have seven paladins which means they actually upgraded their command points which was probably a good idea i'll keep that in mind for the next one okay so what do we want to do we want to do let's see let's go with tactics then the defense and defense so they outnumber us a little bit this might be a fairly even fight i'm not sure They didn't select an action. That's strange. Really? They're AI. Uh, they're smacking us pretty well. Here. But when a missile's hit, that should be good. We might lose a ship or two in this battle. But we should be able to take out all of them. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, we've taken out three so far, four now. Our ships are still doing okay. Taking up five of them. We haven't lost a ship yet. They're not choosing cards. It's very strange. 
That might be an AI bug. Okay, we have one ship left. I don't think it's gonna last very long. Yep, there it goes. I would like um, an improvement would be good. that would be good would be to show the health of each ship instead of just the health of the whole fleet as a whole. It just might be good to have that. Um, but the developers, you know, they they're developing. They're developing. That's what they do. <laughs> the developers develop. Um, but it's cool because they, I'm sure, they're going to be putting out patches and new new gameplay features and, and all this great stuff. So, very, very good. Oh, maybe we can't invade their home system? Hmm. That, that, that could be. Uh, what I actually would like to do is... Where are our... Ships. Repair ships there. Let's take this one. Move him. Can we do that? No. Oh, we can create a new one though. Okay, excellent. So let's take this repair ship. Go here. Let's take one of these fast attack ships. Create a new one. And let's merge this repair ship with this fleet. So now these guys are going to get healed from that repair ship. Now, let's take a missile attack ship. Create. Send it here. And then what we'll do is we'll take this guy, send him here. And then we'll merge him with that. That way all of our ships are getting uh, repaired. Okay, so we... Our fleet commander up, uh, gained the level, so let's see what we can do. Yeah, I think we might just want to go with more offense. That's great. And the purple ones are demanding, the purple pilgrims are again demanding Hyperium. We're going to slap them in the face and say, no, you're crazy. Okay, we have, uh, Adaptive colonies, so we can do moon stuff, and we get less. Uh, we have these anomalies go away, I believe. So let's actually take a look at. Yes, you can see we used to have, for example. Uh, actually, that's not the one over here. Okay, this one still has EM radiation, advanced seismic activity. I thought that would decrease. Maybe it decreases it. Maybe it doesn't completely remove it. I should have paid more attention to that, but it's all right. Let's resolve our movement here. We're still heading over here to Miker. Okay. And then we have our Dreadnought there. And looks good. Checking our planets. Gaikon needs something to do. We just colonized this planet, so let's do an exploitation of science. Ah, now see. Our influence is moving into Esther here. I'm wondering, I wonder if that has an influence over that. So let's actually take a look at, okay, we're more unhappy here. So let's decrease our taxes. Wow, that went down a lot. We went from plus 32 to two, not a lot. Okay, so we might, hmm. it might be because we're at war as well. Let's see. Expansion disapproval. All right, well, we'll just keep an eye on it. I don't see a huge concern right now. Uh, we need a new research, so let's look at. Let's look at hmm, quantum damage plus ten percent. Uh, one second. Okay, quantum. Plus 10% tonnage. Oh, okay. So each ship gets more tonnage. That's pretty good. And we get this hexapherum. Or we could go with this. Uh, well, we don't really need that. Oh, offensive retreat ends the battle. No extra damage round. Hmm, let's go with that one. That seems nice. And end the turn. Alright, we're getting attacked. Our two dreadnoughts are getting attacked by three, uh, seven paladins. This might be ugly. This could be ugly. 
I'd really like to know where all these ships are coming from, though. Well, I guess, oh yeah, I guess, even though we are, you know, invading, it's not that bad. Um, I think what we're going to do is we are going to go all defensive um, to counter all of their kinetic. And we're going to just rely on us hitting them with as many missiles as we can. super effective. We've taken out two ships so far, and we're going with defense again. Uh, they might take out one of our ships. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Yeah, this, or this might end in a draw as well. But it's, I mean, as soon as we get in close, we're going to be fairly well screwed. But, I mean, we do have some kinetic modules as well, so, and we have pretty well upgraded ones. So they have, we've taken out three of their ships, and here comes the melee phase. And, let's see. I think it's pretty hard. They're fairly even in health, but they have three less ships. Here come the missiles. Here they come. And we might lose a ship here. Looks like it's gonna be a draw, yes. Okay, so we took out four of their ships. They took out a fairly substantial chunk of our health, but they didn't destroy any of our ships, so that's cool. And do we get attacked again? No, we took out three of their ships. And that was over here, yes. Yes, over here. Now our strength is severely impaired now. But we'll keep at it. In fact, actually, let's, let's resolve our movement first of all. And then what we'll do over here is we'll merge our missile. And we'll merge our... Let's see. These guys are good. 800. We might send these guys over here to take out this, this fleet. Last attack. Repair. Attack. I was sending these guys somewhere. This one has to repair, so where's our fast attack? One fast attack, yes, we want to send them over here. Okay. Let us do the following. What we're going to do is we're going to attack. We're going to auto this one. It's a fairly lopsided battle. We shouldn't lose anything. If we do, I'll be... Nope, we didn't. I think we may have lost some health, but that's alright. And we're going to send these guys over here. We're going to... Can we attack? No. I guess we can't attack. No, we can. Okay, so... Yes, let's attack. We're going to do an auto again, because we're... We outmatched them fairly well. Mm, excellent. We destroyed them. And we'll just set up blocking there as well. Mm, that looks good. And we're sending these guys over here. These guys are... Let's merge these two together. Let's have them block and invade. And these guys are going over here. These guys are over here. This is here. Everything looks good. Let's... Okay, we can level up this guy. We are completely at the end of the offensive track, so what we can start to do is let's do some melee. It might be good to have if we ever reach the close range. We got photon distortion. Oh, one other thing that I wanted to try. I want to try. I wanted to try that warp thing 
Oh, we might need to. Oh, I think we need to like shift click or control click. We'll try that next turn. So Trim and Gaikon need something to do. We don't have any moons. And let's see, what could we do? We could do. Let's do some more science. Science is always great. And we do have some. Yes, let's do some moon stuff. Moon survey. Take three turns. Let's do that. And things are progressing over here. Just, just, that guy's just chilling over there. Alright, and we need a new research. Okay. So let's go for. We could open up some more uh, luxury resources, which would be great because we're probably going to need that for some help in calming down our citizens. So, okay, let's end the turn. coming from green so he's probably just building and what yeah okay let's resolve the movement so we're going to be invading and defending over here and just make sure that it's the same going on everywhere yes it is Ibeni should be the first to fall followed by Aita and then Takim and Gaikon finished its improvement Yersh is all set because it has a Q, so let's go to Gaikon. And let's do some more population. Uh, or we could do some more. Yeah, let's do some. Uh, let's give it some defense, actually. That'd be good because we're in a very central hub. All right. That was all I wanted to do. Next turn. I think we're coming up on the end of this video. So what I will do is, okay, we're about to get smacked. Yes, we are. And this is coming from Cancer. So we might need to evacuate Cancer. We're not really doing anything. I, I don't think you can invade the system, uh, the home system, until you conquer the, uh, the, sur the other systems, possibly. Or maybe you need something extra. Gonna retreat. I thought we had. A, oh, we do have offensive retreat. Yeah, let's go with offensive retreat. And it does say we block. Player deals one. Close damage. Round. Okay, so if someone was to block this, it looks like we wouldn't immediately retreat. Uh, the player who blocked it would get an unopposed round of attack. So. Oh, did we lose them? Oh, shit. Oh, it's okay. It was just two. It's okay. We'll deal with that later. They're about to get avenged anyway. <laughs> okay, so let me upgrade this guy. And this was the, this is our system guy in Sofi. That's right. So what we want to do is let's go for more labor, which will help our production. This guy's souped up very well. All right, now let's just check. Oh wow, Ida is about to fall first. Excellent, and Miker isn't really yet. But okay, in the next video, we'll continue our conquest of the pilgrims. Um, oh, I think the sphere of influence needs to decrease all the way before. Oh, uh, anyway. We'll, uh, we'll figure out what the hell happens when we invade in the next video, and we will start looking at plans for... Oh, I forgot about the scout up here. And we'll start looking at plans for uh, invading uh, the other guys. We'll decide who to, who to attack first and you know what our course of action will be. All right, hope you join me in the next video. Thanks for watching.